Hey guys, what's up? Chief Pat here, and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video. And today we're gonna be playing with maybe the funniest deck I've ever used on this account. And you guys might have noticed that this deck is all about drawing out someone's arrows, their poison, or their zap spell. So we've got the Minion Horde, the Skeleton Army, the Goblin Barrel, and the Princess, which are common cards uh, to use the aforementioned spells on. So little does your opponent know actually when they play those cards or they play their arrows or their zap that you have so many other cards that are gonna require their attention that they're gonna have to deal with. So let me go ahead and show you guys this first battle against C. This is actually one of the most exciting battles I've had in a long time. Uh, so starting off, I'm gonna play my Princess. I'm gonna play my new Goblin Barrel onto the Elixir Collector. If you guys didn't see the most recent balancing changes, which I'm guessing you probably have, but if you haven't played the Goblin Barrel in a while, um, the Goblin Barrel now costs three Elixirs. So it makes it that much more tempting to use. And in that case, I took the Elixir Collector pretty low. I think it was mainly an even trade right there, but got a little bit stuck with that mini P.E.K.K.A. So so he's gonna get a couple of shots with the Musketeer off onto my tower. So at this point, Miner's gonna go down. I'm gonna play my Minion Horde, and this is when he's gonna go ahead and play his Poison. So by playing his Poison, I now know that he has a Poison to counter some of my cards, but keep in mind, I've got cards like the Skeleton Army, I've got the Princess. There's so many cards that he's gonna have to deal with that normally he'd use his Poison on that uh, I'm gonna try to overload him by just playing those all continuously. All right, so we've got the Skeleton Army plus the Goblin Barrel and the Zap. He's got some Minions going down, but look at all the little Skeletons headbutting the tower. They're gonna take it all the way down to 1167 HP. The skeletons actually do an incredible amount of damage if you can get them close enough to actually do it. I know it's really tough to actually get the skeletons um, to do work, but if you can, then they're just gonna dominate down a tower. They might have like the most damage per second uh, for a card, the skeleton army in general, either that or the minion horde. But anyways, gonna drop my miner onto the uh, elixir pump. My princess actually is going to dive to the mini P.E.K.K.A. and he actually sneaks in a hit from the mini P.E.K.K.A. onto my tower. So at this point, looking pretty even so far. He does have the pump down, but again, take a look at these skeletons. He's gonna play a musketeer. He has nothing he can play against them. The skeletons are gonna go crazy onto the musketeer, bring her down to one HP, and she's gonna be rendered almost completely useless. And again, goblin barrels is gonna go down onto the tower. Now the tower is gonna take, it looks like over 700 damage right there after I zap it just a half a second too late. And that tower is pretty much as good as gone. If I can poison it, I guess twice, or if I poison it and drop a miner, I'll actually drop my miner right now, then he's gonna be in a lot of trouble and it should go down just like that. But he does have a golem. This is the first time he's played his golem and the poison spell is just totally tearing apart my skeleton army. My mini P.E.K.K.A. is doing its best. It's really the only counter I have to the golem, um, but obviously it didn't work out too hot. And at this point, the game is completely tied up. It looked like I had it in the bag and he's gonna drop another golem on my side of the map. He sort of realized that I had nothing to counter the golem except for the mini P.E.K.K.A. So he's just playing golem poison over and over and over again. And uh, my my towers dropped all the way down to 2500. I'm playing my Goblin Barrel on his tower. I need to get some damage off. I get the Skeleton Army going under the Musketeer. My towers all the way down to 883 HP and his towers are barely touched. So this one's gonna take a miracle to pull out of the bag. Now he plays a really weird cannon. That cannon's gonna go down in half a second, and another golem is going down. This is the time to make our push. I've got the miner, I've got the poison, the mini minion hordes going onto the tower. The zap is gonna help out as well. The tower's all the way down to 109, 70, 40. My tower's at 525. The goblin barrel plops down and gives us just a nail-biting victory. I actually thought I was gonna lose, but the goblin barrel came down uh, just as the poison ticked, giving us a two crown to one victory against C, and overall, a pretty ridiculous battle. So so really fun stuff. He definitely had an advantage as soon as he realized he could just spam the golem down my lane, but I pulled it out towards the very end. And uh, let's go ahead and continue going on by attacking Bon. So it looks like right here, we've got the miner. I didn't have too much else I could play with it. So I just let the miner sort of die as depressing as that is. I'll drop my mini P.E.K.K.A. And as soon as he plays all of his stuff, no one expects the skeleton army and he's already played his zap spell. This deck is all about realizing when your opponent plays certain cards. So now that he's played his zap, I'm gonna play my minion horde and he has a furnace. The furnace is just gonna dumpster my minion horde. So sad, but still mini pack is gonna take it out and the mini pack is actually gonna get hit, hit off onto the tower. So things didn't turn out too badly right there. All right, so princess to counter the minion, sort of calming down right now. But at this point, I've realized that he has the poison spell as well as the zap as his two cards that he can use to counter all four of my troll cards. The princess, the goblin barrel, uh, the skeleton army, and 
uh, what's the last one? I can't even remember. Minion Horde is the last one. So I've got that in the back of my head. And as soon as he plays both of those cards and he doesn't have them inside of his hand, I can go absolutely ham and destroy him. So Skeleton Army is going to go down. Looks like it, I'm going to actually drop my Goblin Barrel as well. He can't really poison a Goblin Barrel. That doesn't work too well. Um, you're going to spend more Elixir and you're really not going to save that much damage because the poison takes time to tick in. The mini pack is going to lock onto the tower as well. And the tower's all the way down to 417 HP. So Bon is in a lot of trouble. And this deck I know from personal experience is so annoying to play against. You don't know when to play your zap, when to play the poison. Um, for him, I think I would use the zap against my goblin barrel and the poison spell against my minion horde and sort of just deal with my skeleton army and princess as they um, come out. He does have the furnace as well, which is good against the cards that I'm using. But as long as I can keep that furnace down, then I definitely have the advantage for the battle. So Princess is gonna counter the Furnace, at least the first couple of Fire Spirits that come out. My Miner actually got the tower down pretty low, so the Poison spell will clean that up. And at this point, we're really just looking to take um, down that Lava Hound to make sure nothing too crazy happens uh, for the rest of this match. All right, so Skeleton Army to counter that Mini P.E.K.K.A. The Miner's going down as well. We've got the Minion Horde. His minions still have a little bit of hit points, so I'm gonna have to take those out. And he's gonna drop a Poison spell on top of his Lava. You can see where the deck struggles Plus, dropping a princess right outside of the range of the poison spell, uh, maybe not the best idea. She's going to die in like half a second. But still, the tower's at 452, and it looks like he's actually going to have a chance to take it out. I thought I had this game in the bag. Again, having the golem or the lava hound against this deck or something that targets towers is pretty rough. I know for the hog rider, I can take it out with my skeleton army, but um, the... The uh, poison added in with some of those cards makes it so lethal. So he's going to take my tower out. And again, a game that looked like I had it in the bag is actually not going so hot right now. And uh, I'm going to have to go on an all-out assault. So I've got the Goblin Barrel going down inside of the poison to lower the tower's attack speed. The mini pack is going ham. And just like that, in a blink of an eye, the tower is going to explode. It went from full health to zero in a matter of like five to ten seconds. So good game against Bond. And uh, that was definitely an interesting match. You never know with this deck what's going to happen. And uh, let's go ahead and hop into one more battle to check it out. So looking at my starting cards, I've got the Goblin Barrel as well as the Miner. Let's go ahead and drop those. Actually, I'm just going to play those right on top of each other in perfect timing. He is a Royal Giant, so I'm just going to drop both of those, see what happens. And he's going to drop a Princess, which of course I can use my Poison to take out. Now, if I actually had arrows and I killed that Princess before she killed my Goblin Barrel, then I probably could have taken that Tower with just two cards right there. And uh, of course... He's going to play a Sparky, but we have the perfect counter to take it out. He has almost no Elixir, so my Minion Horde's going to rip through the Royal Giant. It's going to take the Sparky down to a couple of HP, and rather than risk it, I'm going to zap it out. I think two arrows, you wouldn't take the Sparky shot, but I have a little bit of a Sparky, I guess, PTSD after facing it so many times on my Chief Pat 2 account. So better safe than sorry. Let's zap it down and continue the rest of the battle. So obviously the tower on the right is very low. He has arrows, um, but yeah, I don't think he's going to want to use those against my Goblin Barrel because then my Minion Horde can go crazy. So he's going to drop his Barbarians to help counter. Obviously that's not going to work out because the Goblins are all the way on the other side. And we've started this game pretty hot and we've taken the first tower only a minute and 15 seconds in. Um, so Princess to take out the Barbarians. And again, if you guys don't have a Princess, you guys can play this on your free-to-play accounts with um, just like archers as a substitute or something like that. Obviously, most people don't air the princess down anyways. You haven't seen it inside of this game so far. Um, it's more, all the other cards I feel like are a little bit more crucial. You can see a little bit of an embarrassing zap miss right there. I missed on the ice wizard. I don't even know if that one was possible, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring my poison out. He's actually gonna arrow down my princess, which I just said most people don't do. This guy obviously is a little bit of a rebel. Skeleton army's gonna go down onto the princess. She's actually gonna take out most of those right there, but still it's gonna take her out eventually. And uh, still, smooth sailing so far. My towers are both at 3,000 HP plus. He's got a Sparky rumbling down the lane, so just have to worry about that guy, and we should be good to go. Now, taking a look at the Royal GG, pretty tough to play against it right now. I'm actually going to play my Goblin Barrel right on top of the Sparky. Look at that perfect aim with the Goblin Barrel. It's actually going to surround the Sparky perfectly. The Zap Spell is going to help reset the Sparky, so it should die right here, as well as the Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to launch down onto the Legendaries and uh, protect ourselves from that push. It was still a little bit of a rough push. We got our tower taken down to 1100, but at this point, we've got the Goblin Barrel plus the Miner on the very backhand side of the tower. Stabbing away, he can do almost nothing about it. The tower's going to go from 2500 all the way down to 405 and uh, that's the power of the minor goblin barrel combo if you can catch someone slipping then you can take that tower out no problem of course he's going to take mine but i'll take his back with my poison and my zap spell this game is pretty much over and again we're going to go bullseye for another goblin barrel look at that aim 
killer with the goblin barrels onto the sparky and uh, that's going to be able to distract that for long enough to wrap up the battle and give us a pretty clean victory so guys this deck is one of the most fun decks i've ever played with on my account i definitely recommend you guys try it if you don't have the princess you can play something else if you don't have the minor you can play something else of course uh, it might not work as well, but it's still fun to play against people who waste their arrows or poison or zap or whatever And then you surprise them with a skeleton army, which is just ridiculous uh, But yeah, really fun time if you guys have any suggestions for decks drop them in the comment section below But that is going to wrap it up for this video again one last look at the deck You've got the princess the minion horde skeleton army and goblin barrel to troll with and uh, yeah That is going to do it for this video until next time. I will see you guys later. Peace out